red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. These are the colors of the rainbow, the lantern core, the seven chaos emeralds, except there's also a white one somehow, and pretty much everything else. Yes, with these seven colors, as well as white, black, and gray, we've successfully mapped out the entire universe of color within the visible light spectrum. So why is it that people keep listening to Big Crayola when they insist that there's hundreds, even thousands of different colors? Especially when some of those colors are so ridiculous sounding that they've clearly been made up by a globalist think tank working to undermine our society with how patently absurd they are. I'm the Great and Terrible Necromage, and these are my top 10 colors that are clearly just made up nonsense. Number 10. Chartreuse. Just listen to the sound of it. By name alone you can tell that this color is nonsense, but then you hear what it's actually supposed to look like, and people can't decide if it's supposed to be yellow or green. Newsflash, yellow and green are both already colors. You have to wake up a lot earlier than that to pull the chartreuse tinted wool over my eyes. Number 9. Burgundy. According to Wikipedia, Burgundy is a historical territory and former administrative region of France. It takes its name from the Burgundians, an East Germanic people who moved westward beyond the Rhine during the late Roman period. Historically, Burgundy has referred to numerous political entities, including kingdoms and duchies spanning the territory from the Mediterranean to the Low Countries. Don't try to tell me that a region of France is a color ever again. Number 8. Champagne. What the fuck did I just say? Number 7. Mauve. Mauve just sounds like someone just tried making up a color on the spot during conversation. Oh hey bro, I totally discovered a new color the other day. Oh cool, what's it called? Mauve? Mauve? Yeah, mauve. Okay, uh, what's it look like? Oh you know, it's mauve-ish. Ridiculous. Number six. Cyan. As you may be able to tell from the spelling, the myth of Cyan is a relic of the Cold War when the USSR's propaganda network released several reports that Soviet scientists were developing secret new artificial colors so that the Soviet Union would become the premier nation in the world for artists, particularly painters. The Rusky Ruse worked initially, until word got back from the first wave of artists that the Soviet Union was actually completely monochromatic gray. Realizing that this meant that there was no Red Army, our boys flew into Moscow the next day and captured Joseph Stalin, ending the Cold War on June 1, 1957. Number 5. Lavender. Look, it's okay to admit that you just forgot the name Violet. You don't have to pretend that there's a different color that's basically the same as Violet but named after a different flower. You're just embarrassing yourself. Number 4. Brown. Just because you think it's cute wordplay to combine the words boring and yawn doesn't mean that there's a color out there capable of making anything you paint with it look dull and uninteresting. That is the height of fantasy. Number three, turquoise. This is clearly just an example of somebody trying to cheat at Scrabble and taking things way too far. Number two, saffroneer. During my research for this list, I not only came across two totally different spellings of this color, but two entirely different claims as to what the color actually is supposed to look like. With inconsistencies this obvious, I have a hard time understanding how anyone could possibly believe this color exists. And my number one color that's just made up nonsense, pink. Okay, this has got to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. It's a bright, happy color that is simultaneously masculine and feminine, and the only things that are said to be pink don't even exist. Seriously, think about what's commonly described as pink. Unicorns, Kirby, support for women, cotton candy. None of these things actually exist in the real world where we live. Sure, pink sounds great, but at the end of the day, we all have to face facts and accept that it's just not real. And that's my list. Let me know about any notable fake colors I might have missed in the comments, and donate to my Patreon if you'd like to suggest a topic for a future Top 10 list. I'm the Great and Terrible Necromage, reminding you that I speak the truth, and death will come for the non-believers.